My name is Christopher Lipski and I drive Czech Air Cup LTD. Actually, years ago, my friend asked me to check out this business. He kind of fooled me. He told me that this is a very great job, but he didn't forget to mention that uh, you're dealing with the drunk people, with uh, pass out customers, so <laughs> it's not that great after all. get worse and worse because so many taxi drivers, so many new taxi drivers who don't know the city and uh, lots of construction of course and uh, you know it's, it's really hard to make a living now. It was easier 10 years ago. Because I only work downtown, the small company who can work at the airport they all come downtown, so there is lots of competition downtown and, you know, of course, there is less money than years and years ago when everybody could work at the airport. Well, the concerns are uh, you don't take people who don't look okay. You know, you have to deal with the drunk customers and, uh, you know, hopefully you, you make it home every night. Well, you have to watch be careful who you're picking up. You can't just take anybody because you either don't get paid or they start running or dirty your car. Usually when it's full moon, all the weirdos are coming out and, you know, some of them are really patient. Some of them, when they drunk, they very demanding. They want to go here and there. All the most challenges are closing the streets for construction purposes or repairing etc and of course with with the traffic you know the at night it's easier because there is no traffic but during the day you got the city couriers you got the bike couriers so it's very challenging during the day at night it's much easier i try to stay calm when i'm driving but you know very often you know, I get upset because, for example, if they close 8th Avenue, I just can't drive along 8th Avenue and pick up people, so it's, it's very upsetting sometimes. I think it's a good idea, but uh, I don't park on those stands because when I work at night, I have to see how you walk towards my car. If you can't keep your balance, you will be taking the next taxi, not mine. It's, you know, that freedom. You don't have a boss above your head and... Uh, you know, if you don't want to work, you just don't go to work. So, that's very good motivation. You know. There was a few incidents, but I remember a couple of years ago when I was driving home, I uh, saw the car right after the accident and the car was on fire. And uh, myself and some Filipino guy were we try to take the guy out from the burning car and uh, you know it takes some time but we were successful and we took him off and and then the cops came and the fire trucks and then put down the fire the shortest i got every day it's People who working overtime, they got those taxi cheats and they don't want to walk for six, seven blocks. So we take care of them and drive them even six, seven blocks and get paid for it. And the longest was probably 14 years ago when I drove to Lake Louise. That was actually a very cool trip during the summer. Oh, the best guy I ever had was, uh, I think it was 12 years ago, that was like uh, a professor from Korea. He was going to the, to the Banff uh, for some kind of convention and we got an hour and a half to chat and then he phoned me and I picked him up from Banff.
most interesting in Calgary was uh, uh, Heritage Park because during the Christmas party season uh, the, the security guards allowed us to drive inside the uh, inside the Heritage Park so it's very cool because usually when you go there you just pay admission and you walk all the way. It will be a very good idea if there will be a taxi driver's union because this way, you know, we will have more freedom in our work and don't tell, like the brokers won't tell us what to do. We will be working for ourselves. So I think it will be really good if we make the union. I got three women at home, two daughters and one wife. and. Uh, Every night I'm praying I get home safely. <laughs>